the Roy Rogers Show. Happy trails to you. It's nice to meet again. Happy trails to you. Until the journey's end. Oh, Sugar Crisp, the cereal treat that's fun to eat, brings you the Roy Rogers Show. Transcribed on the Double R Bar Ranch with Pat Brady and the Queen of the West, Day 11. Happy trails to you. Time to rise again. And here he is, in person, the King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers. Folks, here's my good word for today. It's about a honey of a new cereal, Post Sugar Crisp. And it's my hunch you'll like it just as much as we do out here at the Double R Bar Ranch. You see, Post Sugar Crisp is just downright good eating. And it's good so many different ways. Try it real soon, won't you? Now, hit yourselves up on the edge of your chairs because our story today is plenty exciting. <laughs> It is the day before the annual Paradise Valley sweepstakes, the most grueling test of stock horse speed and stamina in all the West. Roy, Dale Evans, and Pat Brady are at the horse breeding ranch of Roy's friend, Glenn Shaw, watching Glenn give the final training workouts to Gun Barrel, one of Trigger's finest sons. Roy, Roy, look at that horse go. Well, he's a whip, all right. How do you like him, Pat? Oh, for a critter with legs, I guess he's fine, but I'll take something with wheels any day, like Nelly Bell. <laughs> oh, Pat, you and your old Jeep. Don't you even recognize a good horse when you see one? Gun Barrel sure does. He's daddy mighty proud. How's that, Roy? How'd a Gun Barrel look? Fine, Glenn. It's going to take a lot of horse to beat him tomorrow. I'll second that motion. A mile's a mighty tough distance for a stock horse to cover at full speed. But I certainly haven't seen anything that can touch Gun Barrel. <coughs> well, I sure hope so. I'm counting on the prize money. That will pay off your mortgage at the bank, won't it? You bet. Once I pay off the stock mortgage, this whole shebang will be mine free and clear. And if Gun Barrel does win tomorrow, his colts will bring great prices. I'm just glad that Gun Barrel doesn't have to run against Trigger tomorrow. Well, Trigger isn't exactly a three-year-old anymore. A couple of years ago, though, a tough mile race like this would have been right up Trigger's alley. Say, Roy, do you know anything about that thundercloud horse from upstate? I haven't seen him. Well, this fellow Bailey who owns him has been around the cafe quite a bit lately, and he has plenty to say about him. Yeah, and he's willing to back it up, too. You know, he carries a roll of bills as big as one of our coffee mugs, and he's willing to put up almost any sum that thundercloud will win. Well, if he wants to bet on a horse race, I suppose that's his business, but it's something I sure don't hold with. Yeah, I don't either. But if Thundercloud does win, a lot of Mineral City folks is going to be mighty poor for a while. Hey, look, visitors. Do you know them, Roy? I don't recognize the truck, but it's the sheriff's car. Say, that's Mr. Bailey riding with him. Ain't that a mighty pretty truck, though? Howdy there, folks. Uh, Hi, Sheriff. Folks, I want you to meet Mr. Bailey. Uh, He's, uh... Here from upstate for the sweepstakes tomorrow. Mr. Bailey, these are my friends, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, and Pat Brady. Hi, Mr. I Bailey. Do, sir. And uh, this young fellow's Glenn Shaw. Well, uh, he's the one we want to talk to. Well, I'm very glad to know you, Mr. Bailey. I guess you came out to take a look at Gun Barrel and see what your horse is up against tomorrow. Go ahead, Sheriff. Do your duty. Glenn, Mr. Bailey here has bought the mortgage the bank held in your stock. Your payments are overdue when we have to foreclose. What? What are you... That's right, Shaw. I'm taking your gun barrel horse. Load him on the truck, Jock. Right, Shaw, Mr. Bailey. Oh, now, wait a minute. What's this all about? What do you mean, foreclose? It's almost a month before the final payment's due. Well, sure it is, and Glenn's almost sure to be able to meet it. Well, I don't know you, Rogers. I don't think this is any of your business. But in case you think it is, you have the facts all wrong. Take the horse, Jock. Good enough. Give me the bridle, sonny. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, nothing. Give me the bridle. I'll have to order you to do that, Glenn. I've seen the mortgage transfer. It's overdue, all right, and the papers are on file with the county clerk right now. Uh, Sheriff, are you sure the papers are in order? Why, sure I am, Roy. Well, let him take the horse in, Glenn. We'll get into town and straighten things out. Now you're talking sense. 
But you won't find anything to straighten out. All right, come on, give me that horse. Come here, you big grave bruiser. Say, don't you handle gun barrel that way. Come on, lady, I was taking care of horses before you was born. You handle that horse easy, fella. The lady means what she says, and so do I. Go ahead, Jock. You know where to take the horse. All right, boss. Well, come on, Sheriff. I'm in a hurry to get back to town. Maybe some more of these Mineral City hicks want to bet against Thunderclaw. I'm sorry, Roy. It's all right, Sheriff. I'll see you later. I'm only doing my duty. That's all. Roy, I don't understand. If I don't have gun barrel in the sweepstakes tomorrow, the whole ranch, everything I've worked for, gosh, I won't have a chance. Oh, Roy, why did you let them get away with it? They aren't getting away with anything, Dale. Pat, is Nella Bell up to a little tracking? Is Nellie Bell up to a little tracking? Why, Nellie Bell's got a nose like a bloodhound. You know that. All right. You and Glenn get in that mechanical bloodhound and follow the truck. Dale and I are heading for town as fast as we can get there. We have some business at the bank and the county clerk's office. I know the bank has a right to sell a mortgage, Mr. Meredith, but you might have let Glenn Shaw know about it. That's why I sold the mortgage, Rogers. I just didn't have the heart to foreclose on a nice young man like Glenn. Glenn claims the mortgage wasn't due for a month. Well, now, my recollection of the due date, uh, yeah, it seems to me that the mortgage did have another month to run. Still, I can't be sure. You made out the transfer, didn't you, Mr. Meredith? Well, no, Rogers, I didn't. I took care of the negotiations, of course, but I always let my assistants do the actual paperwork. I hope there hasn't been a mistake. There isn't much time, you know. Uh, the race is tomorrow. Oh, that's right, that's right. And by the way, Rogers, I, I'm not a man to suggest gambling, of course, but um, if you want to get in on a sure thing, just put a little money on Mr. Bailey's horse. I don't gamble, Mr. Meredith. Well, just the same, a bright young fellow like you shouldn't miss a chance to improve his position. That thundercloud's a great animal. Well, Mr. Meredith, I have a mighty poor memory. Uh, would you mind writing that horse's name out on a piece of paper for me? Not at all, Rogers, not at all. There you are. Thundercloud. A sure winner in the sweepstakes tomorrow. Thanks. Well, I'll be going along. Good luck to you, Rogers. Like I say, I hope you and your young friend will get straightened out. If I can be of any help, don't hesitate to call on me. The sheriff may be calling on you, Mr. Meredith. We'll see. Roy, did you find out anything? Well, maybe. How about you, Dale? Well, I checked the transfer at the clerk's office, and the foreclosure date was just like the sheriff said it was. Oh? Gosh, Roy, do you suppose Glenn could be mixed up? What did the transfer look like? Was it written in longhand? Yes. It was on Mineral City Bank stationery and signed by Mr. Meredith. Oh, was the handwriting anything like this? Thundercloud. Paradise Valley sweepstakes. Oh, Roy, that's exactly the same handwriting. I thought so. But what does... The... Hey, hey, Roy! Roy! Oh, Nellie Bell! Hey, Roy. Hey, Dale. What's up, Pat? Uh, where's Glenn? He's in Tombstone Canyon. Tombstone Canyon? Well, where's the truck that took gun barrel away? Well, that's in Tombstone Canyon, too. The truck drove her till it couldn't go any further. And then that mean little old weasel unloaded gun barrel and met a great big bruiser. And the three of them started to pick their way through those rocks. Tombstone Canyon. Roy, that's no place for a horse that's supposed to race tomorrow. It sure isn't. Pat, you and I will stop at the Double R Bar Ranch and get Bullet. And we'll go to Tombstone Canyon, too. Glenn and Gun Bell are up against it. But they haven't lost yet. You know, Roy's Little Pals, the three Sugar Crisp Bears, you see right on the front of every Sugar Crisp package are with us tonight. And they say you'll love the delicious flavor of sugar and honey just as much as they do. That's right. It's, it's the, the best, best flavor in the world. And what's the best way to enjoy that wonderful flavor? Eat Post Sugar Crisp. Yes, indeed. New Sugar Crisp is coated with delicious honey and sugar. And like the bears say, you'll enjoy it three ways. You bet. It's dandy as a cereal. And for snacks, Sugar Crisp is so handy. Or eat it like candy, right out of the package. How right you are. Post Sugar Crisp is the wonderful new cereal treat that's fun to eat any way you eat it. As a cereal, Sugar Crisp is so sweet you don't need any sugar. Just pour on milk or cream. And Sugar Crisp is so handy for snacks, so easy to fix. Or eat it right out of the box like candy. Yes, it's like the three honey bears say. As a cereal, it's dandy. 
for snacks. It's so handy. Or eat it like candy. Post Sugar Crisp. Be sure to get the genuine Post Sugar Crisp in the red, white, and blue package with the three bears on the front. Roy's friend, Glenn Shaw, has a great chance to win the Paradise Valley stock horse sweepstakes with Trigger's son, Gun Barrel. But he loses the horse when Bailey, owner of Thundercloud, forecloses a mortgage under mysterious circumstances. Glenn follows his horse and Bailey's henchmen to the rocky fastnesses of Tombstone Canyon. And now Roy, Pat, and Roy's dog, Bullet, are following their trail along a tortuous, stony path. This way, Bullet Boy. How do you know where you're going, Roy? Well, it isn't too tough to cut sign in here, Pat. We can see where the small rocks have been disturbed, and that's just as good as footprints. I'll see how you do it. <laughs> hey, quiet, Pat. What's the matter? Uh, I guess I'm allergic to traveling on foot. Well, this is one place Nellie Bell couldn't go. Easy now. I think I hear something. Shh. There's someone just around the big rock. Take it easy, sure. It won't do you no good to scrying against them ropes. You said it, Jack. When big red ties them, they stays tied. <laughs> hey, that's them, Roy. Look, they got Glenn and Gunbarrel both tied up. Yeah, look, Pat. If we climb up over this rock to the ledge, we can drop right down on them from above. <laughs> no bullet. You stay here. Wait till I call you. Yeah, I'm with you, Roy, but but it ain't gonna be easy. Come on. How'd you get here, Shaw? How'd you follow us? Never mind how I followed you. Ah, so you thought your horse was gonna win the race tomorrow, did you? Hold it here, Pat. Right. He's still winning if he gets a chance to run. I'll get right above the big one. Roy, I... What's that? I see up there. Come on down, reaching for the clouds. Roy, Pat, what is... Shut up, little fella. Oh. You're the wise guys who was hanging around Shaw's ranch this morning. Come on, get down here and don't make a fool's move. I'm sorry, Roy. Don't worry about it, Pat. You seen these guys before, Jack? They're friends of this little punk? Uh, we're friends of Glenn's, yes. Well, maybe the boss will have some plans for you, too. Take their guns, Red, and tie them up. You don't think we came alone, do you? Huh? Look up there at the rim of the canyon. Well, you, I, don't I got the big one, Pat. You have a jock. Never loosen your grip on a gun, big boy. It doesn't pay. I got him, Roy. Come on, me. Oh, boy, Roy. If you didn't have my gun, I'd... Here, take Red's gun, Pat. Keep it leveled on jock. Now, Red, you do what? Well, I'll break you in two. I'm fine. <coughs> the only mistake you made was coming in wide open. Man, oh, man, Roy. He, he landed like he busted an axle. Pat? Untie Glenn and put those ropes around the big fella. If there's a small end left, you can use it on Jock. Roy, we've got to get Gun Barrel out of here. If he's going to race tomorrow, we'll he's have to... He's not going to race tomorrow. I'll get those hands in the air. All of you. Well, Bailey, I was sort of expecting you, but... You're a born meddler, aren't you, Rogers? Watch out for this guy's tricks, boss. He's full of them. Now, Shaw, if your friends had let me take the horse peaceably in accordance with the law, all of you would have been better off. We aren't too badly off, Bailey. Listen, cowpoke, that's about enough. How'd you like to taste a bullet? Bailey, there's not a cowpoke in these parts that would let a bullet get him. Oh, oh, awesome. Rogers, get this wolf off of me. Hold him. Look at him. Stay with his hand, boy. Oh, my wrist. Drop your guns, Bailey. Go on, drop him. Are you... There. Now get him off me, Rogers. Pick up the artillery, Pat. Right. All right, bullet. Let go, boy. Good boy, bullet. Now, Bailey, I think you look better without your guns. Yeah, and so do the other two. There. Glenn, you're loose. Oh, thanks, Pat. Gee, I'm numb from those ropes. Rogers, this whole thing is a big mistake. I thought at first you were a couple of gun slicks holding up my boys, and that's why I can... Stow it, Bailey. I'd rather talk about a certain stock mortgage. Why, why, sure, Rogers. Uh, uh, What about it? Are you sure you didn't take Glenn's horse about a month before you had a right to? Well, all I know is what the papers from the bank said. Do you mean there's been a mistake? I think there's been more than a mistake. Well, if that's the case, naturally, I'll be more than glad to see that things are straightened out. Why don't we all go back to town and talk this thing over? Roy, you mean you're going to let them get away? Sure. They won't leave town until after the race tomorrow. Well, no, of course not. I have nothing to fear. All right. Suppose you get moving, then. All right, Jock. Grab Red by the arms. We'll get him out. How about our guns, Rogers? Never mind your guns. You have enough to carry with Red. All right, Rogers. But we'll expect to get them back. Come on, Red. Walk, will you? We aren't going to drag you all the way. You know, I've probably met three unpleasanter fellows. 
But for the life of me, I can't remember when. Glenn, are you all right? Sure, Roy, I'm fine, but gun barrel. Gosh, look how he's favoring his right foreleg. Easy there, gun barrel. Let's see that hoof, boy. How does it look to you, Roy? Pretty bad, Glenn. He can't race tomorrow. Oh, Roy, don't you think if we got him back to the ranch... Not we'd... a chance. I've never seen a worse stone bruise. Gun barrel will be all right in a couple of weeks, but that's the soonest. Then I've lost everything, Roy. The Colts aren't ready to sell, and without the prize money... Yeah, that's mighty tough, Glenn. I know how you feel, sort of like I'd feel if anything had happened to Nellie Bell, or like Roy would feel if anything had happened to Trigger. Trigger? Hmm. Hey, look, Glenn. If you had another horse that was ready for the race tomorrow, you could still enter him, couldn't you? Well, sure, Roy, but I haven't. Well, let's get back to Paradise Valley. You're going to buy a horse from me, providing I can buy him back within 24 hours. Of you. Do you think Trigger can win? Oh, I don't know, Dale. He'll sure give it a try. Hey there, Glenn. Uh, how you getting along? Oh, it's no use, Roy. I can't do anything with Trigger. He's fine and all that, but I just can't get any response out of him. Well, Trigger boy, what's the matter? I guess I didn't think, Glenn. No one but me has ever ridden Trigger. I guess I just wasn't meant to win this race. What do you mean, Glenn? You don't have to ride the horse yourself, do you? No, but... Well, what are you waiting for, Roy? Roy, will you ride Trigger? Look, Glenn, I'd like to, but I'm a lot heavier than you are, and those extra pounds in a tough race like this, well, it's just asking too much of the horse. Oh, Roy Rogers, you couldn't ask too much of Trigger, and you know it. Get your horses up to the start line. Come on, riders, get your horses up here. Please, Roy, it's my only chance. Oh, but the weight... Well, here, here, let's get the saddle off Trigger. That'll make a few pounds difference. Roy, you, you gonna ride him bareback? Well, there's no rules against it, is there? Not as long as the horse is carrying at least 130 pounds. Well, he'll be carrying that and then some. Hold the saddle, Pat. You bet. Here, Dale, keep my gun belt for me. You bet I will, Roy. Glenn, wish us luck. We're gonna need it. Come on, Trigger Boy. Come on, get your horses up to the line. You can do it, Roy. You can do it. I hope he can. I'm worried only about Bailey's thundercloud. Which one is he, Glenn? Well, he's that big black one there. You see the big black one with the white blaze? And look who's riding him, that sidewinding little jock. Oh, it's a beautiful horse. Hey, wait a minute. That's no stock horse. He's a thoroughbred racehorse. What? Look at him. Look at his head. Why, did you ever see a quarter horse with confirmation like that? Dale, you're right. Oh, then Trigger hasn't got a chance. There isn't a stock horse living that can outrun a thoroughbred for a full mile. And I got Roy into this. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Come on, Trigger! Come on, Roy! We're the Sugar Crisp Bears and we want you to meet the grandest treat you ever did eat. Post Sugar Crisp. Of the cereal, it's dandy. For snacks, it's so handy. Or eat it like candy. As a cereal, it's dandy. Or eat it like candy. Post Sugar Crisp. Yes, sir, eat. Any time of the day, Post Sugar Crisp is the cereal treat that's fun to eat. No wonder it's the fastest growing cereal treat in America. Full of nourishing wheat goodness and coated with energy rich honey and sugar. Sugar Crisp has an exciting new kind of taste, deliciously different from anything else you've ever tried. It's a honey of a new cereal. So be sure to ask Mom to bring home Post Sugar Crisp in the red, white, and blue package with the Sugar Crisp bears on it. Remember, it comes in both the giant and regular sizes. Start enjoying Post Sugar Crisp tomorrow. <laughs> To save his friend's ranch, Roy at the last moment agrees to ride Trigger in the Paradise Valley Stock Horse Sweepstakes. And at the cry, they're off. Dale discovers that Trigger is running against a thoroughbred racehorse. Come on, Roy! What are you trying to pull, Shaw? What do you mean by having Rogers ride his horse in your colors? What are you trying to pull, Bailey? I'd like to see the papers on your horse. Now, Bailey, you have no cause for complaint. Everything's in order, and Rogers has a right to ride Trigger. And Trigger will beat your horse no matter what you try, Mr. Bailey. We'll see about that. Look, Dale, Pat, Trigger's gaining on the leaders now. Yeah, so is that thundercloud. Attaboy, Roy! Oh, 
Trigger's leading. Trigger's leading. No, he ain't. Thundercloud's right with him. Come on, Trigger. Oh, no. Thundercloud's inching ahead. And look what that raider's doing. Look, he's squeezing Roy into the rail. Come on, Trigger. We can still take him. Come on, boy. Go on, Trigger. Hold well, up. Rogers are out slamming into that rail. I'll slam you hard. We'll take our chances. Go on, Trigger. Go, boy. It's your last one, and Rogers pull up or I'll spit you. I'm winning this race. If you want to win so bad, quit worrying about my horse. What? Look what's coming up on the outside. What? Where? Where? Nowhere. Now go, Trigger. He left us a hole. Hey. Get through there, boy. It's come on, Trigger. outside. Roger, come on. The next cloud catch it. Let him be now. Double-crossing scallywag. You told me your horse couldn't lose. I'll protest, Mr. Meredith. Rogers had no right to put that horse in that race. Well, you're going to have a hard time convincing the crowd of that. And I've lost thousands and thousands of dollars. Pat, Glenn, listen. Quiet, Meredith. Not here. What do you mean, not here, Bailey? I falsified that mortgage date because you promised me Thundercloud couldn't lose if Gun Barrel was out of the race. Did you hear that, Sheriff? I sure did, Dale. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Trigger. Whoa, easy boy. Roy, Trigger, you're marvelous. Boy, Trigger skimmed around that track like he was jet propelled. What's going on here? What are Meredith and Bailey up to? And they've been up to more than I ever dreamed, Roy. But we got the goods on them. Let go of me, Sheriff. Hey, you never no, take me. Hey, stand back, all of you. Or I'll start oh, blasting oh. with these six shooters. Oh, oh, no. no man can cross me like you have, Rogers. But I'm getting revenge because I got you without your guns. Now get off that horse. You bet I'll get off my horse and I'll land on you. Careful, Roy. Don't worry about Roy. Did you ever see such a quick move? He was on Bailey before he could shoot. Now, Bailey, I've got you without your guns, too. And I've been waiting for this. Get up on your feet, you skulking coward. No. Sheriff, you need any more information out of Bailey? No, Roy. He and Meredith have made a confession before witnesses that will stand in any court in the land. Why? Because if that's the case... Bailey isn't going to do any more talking for a while. There. Oh! I don't like to lose my temper, but he had that coming. Sheriff, have your men grab Bailey's rider. Come on, Dale, Glenn, Pat. I've got the cool trigger out. Come on, trigger boy. Roy, I'll, I'll never be able to thank you enough. Having trigger win the sweepstakes is just as good as having gun barrel take it. After all, Gun Barrel's sons are Trigger's grandsons. They sure are. And if they're half as good as their ancestors, you'll do real well with them. Oh, by the way, Glenn, I'm going to buy a horse from you. You are? Which one? Trigger. The way he ran today, I'm sure glad we only made a 24-hour agreement. That's all for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you Until we meet again The Roy Rogers Show was brought to you tonight by Post Sugar Crisp, the cereal treat that's fun to eat. Fellas and girls, remember Roy's good advice and ask Mom to bring home Post Sugar Crisp in the red, white, and blue package with the three bears on the front. You'll love Post Sugar Crisp. The Roy Rogers Show can be heard again next week at this same time with Pat Brady, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Brush production written and directed by Fran Van Hardisfeld with music by Milton Charles. Come and get it, come and get it. For quick humid energy for work and play. How about grape nuts flakes? How about them, how about them? How about those grape nuts flakes? How about those grape nuts flakes? How about them, how about them? How about those grape nuts flakes? They are so good, good for you too. The two minute energy works for you. So how about them, how about them? How about Grape Nuts Flakes? Grape Nuts Flakes is one of the triple-wrap post cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. 
Look for Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal in the package with Roy Rogers and Trigger on the front. Stay tuned for the latest news brought to you by Log Cabin Syrup. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds if we're... Featured in today's cast were Frank Hemingway, Herb Butterfield, Gil Stratton Jr., Joseph Kearns, Jess Kirkpatrick, Jack Moyles, and Ed Max. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Post Sugar Crisp. <laughs> 